I am now with Coach Ty Harper of CSP. Coach, this has really been another big year, right? One that you, I think, have planned all along because you knew what was coming up as far as your youth. Talk about how this is now the next coming of CSP and what has happened this season. Well, you know, we're, we're really excited to be back here. Um, certainly these kids have worked really hard dating back to you know, January, February, and the weight room. Uh, they did a lot of work with seven on seven throughout the summer. We tried to give them the best competition that we could um, all off season. We went out to the state seven on seven tournament. Played against some really strong teams, traditionally teams that have done well in the state playoffs. Uh, we played a super competitive non league schedule this year. Uh, Southwestern, Faulkner, Cassidy, again, obviously, still make it. going to the state championship. Uh, these guys have just continued to work hard and get better. So uh, we're proud of them. Uh, we know the job's not done, and we're excited for the opportunity. So what do you think this year, though, if you were to test it, like, what has really been behind the success, right? Talk about the team as a whole and really where that success has come from. Uh, well, really, the, the kids deserve the majority of the credit. They took it upon themselves to get stronger in the offseason. That was a big goal for us. Uh, you know, people, people see the results on the field, uh, and there's so much that goes into that. Uh, that, that nobody sees and I, I really give credit to the kids for working hard and, uh, and buying into everything that we've asked them to do um, And we've got a lot of talented kids really at, at the end of the day. It's always about the kids and, uh, We can we can ask them to do you know anything we want, but it, it's on them to do it. It's done a good job of executing so. You talked about your non league schedule. Yeah. You saw them week one in your non league schedule, am I correct? Uh, Who's that? You saw one of the teams you just a little Southwest. Southwest. Southwestern week yep. one, right? Yep. So you've got already a crash course these guys got in, in week one sure. as to what competition was going to look like, and they come out successful. Do you believe playing them so early, having the success they did? Light bulbs go off, that's one of the biggest reasons to success. Yeah, you know, we knew that we were going to have to do that right out of the gate. Uh, we played Southwestern Route 1 not the uh, traditionally a very strong program, and then we traveled to Randolph Week 2. Um, and they were, you know, defending section champions the last two years. I don't think they lost a section game uh, in two years, so we knew that we didn't be ready to play. Um, and then our guys continued to work hard and get better. Uh, seeing Sam make us towards the tail end of the schedule, I think, was big because they're awesome, very well coached. Um, so, you know, yeah, competing against programs like that throughout the year, it only makes you better. You're now going to see the team on the second time. And the team has, you've seen gotten better, I think, just for sure. Rest, especially in the last couple of years. Sure. Right? So, what has to happen on the field for you guys to be able to meet yourselves in sectional championships? Yeah, Wilson's a great opponent. Um, you know, I, I think you saw on Friday night. The type of character that they have, the type of resolve that they have, uh, you know, going into a game against a team that was probably the favorite, and uh, you know, to, to come back from 20 points down in that game, uh, we've got a lot of respect for them, and so we're not taking them lightly. They've got uh, some great players who can possibly they're really well coached, and, and they've been here before too. So um, we have to play our best game. You know, it's uh, to play off the ball. It's when you have to be at your best. So uh, we're going to keep working hard and continue to improve ourselves. I don't want to look ahead. You know, I'm not even if I want you to look ahead. But I do want you to look at the past, right? A lot of these young men that are playing for you were watching your, those teams win some state championships. Whether they were on the sidelines throwing a football or in the stands shooting them on themselves. Talk about how that has helped this team. Yeah, you know, that's a great question. We really looked at our program as being, you know, family. And he's on. You know, a lot of our guys on the current roster had older siblings that have come up through and have been really uh, fantastic players for us. Uh, I think we've got five or six younger siblings that are former players on this roster. Um, some of them were managers, some of them were ball boys. Um, and yeah, I, I think that that matters because there's a standard that we hold our players to, and uh, these guys have just worked incredibly hard to meet that standard. So yeah, I, I think that's just Great. Folks, listen, congratulations on the great season. Thank you so much. No doubt it's been fun to watch you guys, and there's going to be some uh, big success for you guys this season. And still yet to possibly play on the Congratulations. Appreciate it. Thank you. There you go. Actually, it's doing on your own. Awesome.